If you have been looking for an opportunity to start a business in one of the latest technology trends but not sure where to start, you have landed at the right place. Welcome to my consulting channel and to the seventh episode of NFT Startup Business Deep Dive. I'm Mike Tadros, the professor, with a diversified experience for many years working as a consultant for futuristic startup businesses and entrepreneurs as well as a project manager for agile, scrum, lean and conventional projects. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to start your own NFT marketplace. And if you are ready, let's get to it. Anyone can buy or sell artworks, including music, within the virtual world when using an NFT marketplace. But how to create an NFT marketplace? NFT marketplaces use a blockchain architecture that creates a read-only record which holds a unique, non-fungible token. So, how to create an NFT marketplace in 5 steps? Before you start building your own NFT marketplace, take some time to think about what will make your offering special and set it apart from the rest. Determining a niche can help you cater to an engaged audience that is ready to buy. Having a clear objective is key here. Once you are confident in your offering, it's time to really get to work. Number 1. Choose a blockchain architecture. The first step can easily be described as the most complex part of the process, and that's for a good reason. Deciding on your NFT marketplace blockchain technology will impact many other pieces of your venture. You can choose to go with an existing blockchain technology like the widely used Ethereum or also frequently used Solana, Polygon or Cardano. After the initial integration, every transaction will incur a cost. This is referred to as a gas fee within the NFT space. There are several such marketplaces in the market that you can check, such as OpenSea, Rarible, and others. Number 2. Decide between an open or closed market. Creators will also have to decide if they want an open or closed NFT marketplace. A closed NFT marketplace will utilize a specific ownership token, while an open marketplace will support a wide variety of tokens. As we said, OpenSea is the leading marketplace for NFTs currently as it supports more than 150 types of payment tokens. In an open market, anyone can create an account and start listing his items at whatever price they desire. This creates a kind of supply and demand pricing model. Further, in open markets, buyers won't have to worry about the NFT compatibility with a practical blockchain when buying or selling digital assets. Number 3. Define your style. Once you determine the back-end specifies of your blockchain technology and market type, it's time to get to the front-end of things. This will include the user interface and user experience design of your marketplace. What kind of experience do you want users to encounter? What will be the look and feel of your marketplace's homepage? How will you feature your NFTs? Whatever you decide, just ensure that the design is both user-friendly and accessible. Number 4. Decide on a commission fee. Once you decide how you want your marketplace looks like, now it's time to decide what will be the commission fee. Think about the monetization model you are going to implement and how you will collect your fees. Stay competitive and be careful not to overcharge. It's easy for users to find other providers. So you want to offer value along with quality NFTs and trustworthy security. Number 5. Create or join a community. As a first-time marketplace in a competitive space, you need to connect with your buyers and building a community. Once your marketplace is ready for users, consider granting new customers access rights to an exclusive club to help further incentivize repeat purchases. You can also utilize traditional social channels or consider joining a platform like Discord or a messaging software similar to Slack where gamers and crypto enthusiasts connect. Now, since we have made it through the basic steps, it may be more obvious how creating an NFT marketplace is not a simple task. Frankly speaking, it takes more effort than setting up an Etsy shop or a Shopify account, but it also can be all the more worthwhile. Thanks for joining me in this 7th episode of NFT Startup Business Deep Dive. I hope you'll join me again for the other episodes. Therefore, if you have not already, now is the time to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the other episodes of this series. I look forward to talking to you at my next video. 
Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.